Hello guys and welcome back to Canada Waka. So today I'm in the beautiful city of Kolona. Is Kolona city? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so okay. I'm in the beautiful city of Kolona and I'm here with my very good friend Uche. Um, I came here to do a three-day tour to get to know the city better and you do, as you guys know, I've always been in Alberta. I've been in Calgary. Um, a huge fan of Calgary. In fact, if I had my way, I want all you guys to come and, you know, pick Calgary as your city. But alas, I'm here. Um, in case you don't know me, my name is Henry, and I talk about Canada. I talk about lifestyle. And today we'll be exploring why immigrants would want to come to Kelowna. Um, I'm an immigrant myself, and Uche is as well. Yeah. Um, Uche moved down here what a year ago. Uh, over a year, October 2020, yeah. Okay, so I've stated why I'm here. Um, why don't you tell us when you moved from your home country, where you settled originally when you came to Canada and why you made that switch to Kelowna? Okay, um, so I, I moved to Canada in, in January 2019. Um, I landed in Calgary um, because I was coming here to do a master's degree program in University of Calgary. So I landed in Calgary. Uh, before I came, I didn't even know a lot about Calgary. I just did my research and it looked like it was a very nice city to settle in. It was affordable. And then there were a lot of uh, Nigerians and I had a lot of friends there too. So it was actually a very nice place for me to come in. Um, and then I came in in winter, which was, <laughs> it was something else on its own because it was just like a shock. Um, but yeah, so I came in January 2019. I did my uh, master's program in University of Calgary up until I think May 2020. That's when I ended that. And so I was in Calgary all the while before I moved to Kelowna in October 2020. Um, I moved to Kelowna for a job opportunity and I've been here since then. Okay. so. Uh, what was it like, you know, making that decision? Because yeah. as far as I know, you used to love Calgary. Yeah. Maybe you still do, but eventually it was a tough choice to yeah. make. And as far as I know also, Kelowna is in the typical place someone would leave their home country for exactly. when coming to Canada. Um, I found out that it's, it's a tourist city. Um, it's very touristy. It has a lot of, you know, trappings that would excite people wanting to leave, say Toronto for example, yeah. or Calgary, you know, or any other city to want mm -hmm. to visit. So, um, <clears throat> what, you know, what was it for you eventually that yeah. made you decide, okay, I'll come here and, and stay? And stay. Um, so, when I graduated from my program, uh, it was, like I said, it was in May 2020. So, this was when COVID was full-blown. Companies were not hiring that much. Everybody was on lockdown. And so for about three or four months, I was trying to get a job in Calgary because I really loved Calgary. It was affordable. All my friends were there. Uh, but I, I don't know if some of you are aware, there's this depression that comes when you're trying to look for a job and you can't find a job. Sorry, the depression is not Calgary it's not, related. It's so not Calgary related. It's different. just, you know, when you, you left a good job in Nigeria, you came here, you spent a lot of money on an, an education and then you finish and you just... I was doing a job, but it wasn't what I wanted, and I was I kept trying to apply, and I wasn't getting any response. Like I wasn't getting a response. So um, at that point, I was only applying in Alberta because I wanted to stay. And then when I decided to apply outside, uh, this was one of the first jobs I applied to in BC. There were two jobs I applied to, and I got called for an interview. So I was like, oh wow. I never really thought about moving to BC, but if there's an opportunity there, why not? And so, uh, before I applied for this job in Kelowna, I'd never heard of Kelowna before. Um, so I went online and started Googling and I noticed it was just like, a, I was like seeing beautiful pictures and sunshine and, um, and I started trying to do my research. I spoke to someone that had a, f a colleague that had a mom living here and then he tried to give me some insight. So Kelowna was never in the plan. It was just something that came up because I couldn't find the type of job I wanted in Calgary. And I'm somebody that I'm always open to new experiences, new adventures and, and opportunities. So um, it was hard making the decision to move because I knew I was going to start afresh, making new friends, learning um, how 
the city was and the culture here if it was different from uh, Calgary where I had been for almost two years um, so I moved here for a job and after I moved here um, it was still in the, during COVID so there was not a lot happening outside a lot of my colleagues I met them via uh, teams calls and videos I never saw them in person but um, somehow my plan was move to Kelowna <coughs> see how it is for, for about a year and then find my way back to Calgary. But I've been here almost two years now and I'm, <laughs> I'm still here. So okay. I moved to Kelowna and I just, I just kind of fell in love with, with, the, with the city. Yeah. Okay. So um, just cause you know, the viewers are like international from everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, even outside Nigeria, a lot of folks who want to know what was it, what was it like when you came here? Um, I'm sure there would have been culture shock. What would you say is the concentration of uh, oh, yes. immigrants? Because I, you know, from my way to the airport leading to uh, where I'm mm -hmm. currently staying, I saw that there was a University of British Columbia. Yeah. So what that tells me is that there's opportunities for people looking to come here to school. Yes. And British Columbia is a province, of course, you could go to Vancouver exactly. and many other places. So are you saying there's a good international presence here and immigrants are here um yeah you know schooling um so for schooling i would uh give my own opinion because i'm no longer a student so i don't know exactly how it works but i've met a lot of students uh that came to Kelowna to go to the university of british columbia um okanagan so it's called ubco uh they also have another college called okanagan college for people that want to do like trades, trades. and stuff like that um so i met some um uh, I've met some Nigerians, I've met some Jamaicans, I've met some people from India, Pakistan. Um, the thing about Canada is there are going to be immigrants everywhere. It's just a, a matter of how 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 much of the population um, are there or not. So definitely in Kelowna, it's more of a, the, Im the immigrant population here is not that much as compared to places like Toronto or Calgary, but they definitely have a presence here. Um, unfortunately for me, when I moved here, it was during COVID, so it wasn't really, I didn't get the opportunity to meet a lot of people, but even the building I was staying in at the time when I first moved here, it was very close to the university. So when I come out of the apartment, I see a lot of students, I see a lot of people. Um, and then, you know, as, as, as black people, when we see ourselves, we know ourselves, when we hear ourselves speak, we know we can t tell the accent if they're Nigerians, if they're African. So, I've de definitely okay. met a lot of uh, okay. Nigerians here. So would you say that has improved what you talked about coming here and not seeing um, a lot of people that look like you or yeah. a lot of people that you'd say are immigrants yeah. because of course they could be from Different Asia, countries. they could be from Haiti um, or yeah. whatever. So. Kelowna, Kelowna won't be the first choice for someone that is looking for a very large immigrant population. Um, I, I would be very honest, there's still a lot of um, Caucasian people as compared to maybe Blacks or uh, people from the Middle East or, or Asia, right? So um, I've been here a while and it's still a lot of more, uh, just a less amount of immigrants here. Um, well, it hasn't taken away from It hasn't taken away from right? the experience. It also depends on the kind of person you are. Um, if you're someone that um, usually is like, you just have a group of friends and you're okay then that's that's fine for you then Kelowna is definitely the place but if you're someone that you always want to have like a large group or always meet larger groups of people and do stuff with I don't know if Kelowna might be the right place for you because definitely personally it was a culture shock for me because I was coming from Calgary where every turn of Everywhere I turned, there were Nigerians. There Very were cosmopolitan. Yeah, Calgary, yeah, it's Calgary is definitely one of the larger cities. Uh, Kelowna is a smaller place, so for me it was different. But I adjusted pretty quickly. But that's my own personal uh, experience. So it depends on the kind of person you are. If you're a homebody, you're someone that likes the outdoors. There's a lot of biking. There's a lot of uh, hiking. So if you're someone that likes kind of experiences, and then. Uh, there are also a lot of cities very close by. The Vancouver is just three hours away. So, yeah, that's that's what I believe. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it, guys. We've talked about um, school, you know, immigrants probably wanting to come to school, what it's like. And for me, in summary, um, it's okay. It's It will be good for someone coming here that wouldn't mind to see 
um, a diverse set of people, but maybe not as much as you would, you would have in, say, Calgary, for example. There's university here, and some of the good things is that it's a very touristy place. There are loads of attractions. Vancouver is well, One more thing there. I will add is that it's obviously also going to be more affordable than universities in bigger cities like Calgary and Toronto. Right. So um, that's also one reason why people come here. It's, um, um, the the volume of applicants that we get to universities here wouldn't be as high as other universities, so you might have a higher chance of getting into the university, and then the tuition and, and all that will be a bit cheaper um, than some of the bigger cities. So that's also an, an advantage. Okay, thank you, Jay. Um, in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed, I wonder what you're waiting for. Please subscribe to the channel, <coughs> like this video, um, it helps, and share also because I know a lot of folks would want to know about other lesser known places that you know might appeal appeal to them if it doesn't appeal to you i'm sure there are others that just want you know a quiet small town you know where you could go out wine tasting like i'll be doing later in fact i'll show you guys all of those things i'll be doing a, like a vlog style um video i'll put out hopefully i have the time to edit um, we'll be doing wine tasting i've already visited knox mountain i'll show you guys what that looks like um, as well but moving on um i'd like to talk about what i've experienced so far like tourism here and i'm of the opinion that you know every once in a while you should leave where you are and get to experience the rest of canada especially now that you know we're no longer done in the masks yeah um, people are moving freely and everything so um guys i'm here for a three-day tour and thankfully, you know, Uche has been here to <laughs> chaperone me and to show me <laughs> around. Um, so, arriving at the airport, I came here with Lynx Airlines. I think Lynx, yeah, is a new one. And you guys should check it out. Um, so, I'm not sponsored by Lynx, but I mean, it's difficult to not want to put out good information out there. Um, the ticket, a round trip from Calgary to Kelowna cost 130 eight canadian dollars which honestly you can't get anywhere the planes are new or perhaps i think maybe they are refurbished um flight time is 45 minutes from calgary um flight time you know plus um prep and everything would take like an hour and um bc is an hour behind calgary so it felt like i moved to like from 9 a.m to 9 a.m it felt like yeah. time stood still but that was it um good little airport my experience from the airport to where i'm currently staying was you know decent how many minutes around the whole city i feel like everywhere is equidistant. yeah everywhere everywhere is pretty it's pretty small so yeah. depending on where you're going if you're not going during the um tra high traffic times mm -hmm. it's, it's like 30 minutes 20 minutes you're everywhere you need to go yeah so i noticed they have like a marina where you'd see seaplanes you see you know like rich folks Boats, there, you know? like and yeah i'm like this is where i should <laughs> look guys i love Alberta. i shouldn't lie but <laughs> after my hike to um not mountain, mountain yesterday to, on yeah. our yeah and paul stone on our descent i saw what's you know what's what i should be aspiring to you see people with their you know lake homes by the okanagan you see you know wonderful houses with parking lots you know and gosh you know, a, lot, a lot of good stuff anyway um so on the tourism end i think it's it's a nice experience i'd love to come here again i've heard it's different in the summertime this is spring and i left calgary with um, snowstorm warnings you know crazy crazy period in calgary and came here to meet um sunshine good vibes um, i don't know about the wine yet we'll be doing the wine tasting i can't i cannot comment but yeah. I'm, I'm hoping it will be good where are we going today uh, after this okay what is the name of that place? it's yeah. kind of deep but i don't know if you're gonna have time to connect to me I, I hope you do because I plan to show you guys. Yeah, so I'm cool. planning to take into Crown and Thieves. Uh, they have a lot of wineries in Kelowna. Even just driving by, you see a lot of the vineyards on the streets. Uh, I wanted to go for a wine tasting if we have enough time, but we have a lot of things planned for today. But yep. we'll see how that yep. goes. Yep. 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 Okay, and then um, I would want to also talk about what would you what do you think you would do differently now that you've experienced. Um, Corona and all the time in you know yeah. Calgary. After this, we'll talk about jobs. I know you guys might want to know about jobs because see, some of the best places to get jobs are <clears throat> in 
maybe rural areas if you're doing a specific type of job but we'll get to that for now i want to know yeah. what uj's perspective is on what she would have done differently now that she's been here for like yeah. a year right um i i wouldn't say i would have done anything differently because um initially my, my reason for coming to Kolona was for a job. It wasn't like I just decided to settle somewhere else. So um, personally, I've always been open to new adventures, new uh, new places, because um, I, I believe sometimes you can be surprised at things that you weren't ever imagining could ever happen or can happen to you. So um, I don't know what I would say I would do differently um, as per Kolona, but um, it, it definitely was an experience that I wasn't expecting and it was a it turned out to be a positive experience since I've, since I've been here so uh, I definitely would keep going ahead with an open mind and to, I'm always open to new adventures new places just you never know where God is going to take you and what he has in plan for you so I would say just always be open-minded especially when you're moving here the first time right. um uh, yeah, but definitely if you're moving here the first time, I would always advise where you have friends and family at least until you can get your your, your foot in. And then as he said, sometimes you, to get a job, you might have to move somewhere else, see how it is. You might end up loving it like I did or not. And then you can always uh, move back into somewhere else that you feel is, it's way better for you. Yeah. Okay. And to be very honest, um, a small city loving kind of person. Yeah. I love small city i love yeah. this place and um i know some people out there might too and they'll be looking at okay so tell us what are the job prospects job what does prospects. it look like yeah because okay. you're working here, um right? yeah uh -huh. so uh, i actually work in it um and then one thing i noticed about Kelowna is they're trying to make it like they're trying they're trying their vision is to try to make it a tech hub uh for people like uh for startups and stuff like that because Vancouver is getting over it's, it's overflowing with companies and population so there are a lot of smaller companies coming up I know of a company um, that was in the building where I was that it was a gaming company and it got bought by Disney and um, they produce game kids games and stuff like that it's not there yet where they want it to be in the sense of being a tech hub but they're getting there they're trying to make it more conducive for people to come in uh, so for the job market it depends on what you're doing um Kelowna has all the um all the kinds of jobs you could normally get for like doc i wouldn't say doctors doctors is also another thing because the I, hospital, yeah, so there's the, a teaching general. hospital there's a big teaching hospital just to even get a doctor they don't have enough doctors I, i'm on i'm on a waiting list to get a family doctor so wow. you can imagine how um how much opportunities they have um but um it depends on what you're doing definitely before you move to Kelowna, you need to check and see what kind of opportunities they have from my own experience i've seen it's because it's a tourist uh, region they have more opportunities for like uh, chefs for people in the hospitality business like hotels um, with the hospital you have a lot of um, there's there's a there's a the government organization called interior interior health authority they're always employing and uh, I was speaking to friends of mine they usually have good pension good pay and they employ for a wide variety of things not even just um, medical side they employ for tech they employ because they have uh, applications they use they use they employ application support they employ security cyber security so there are a lot of companies uh, here also that do that but I noticed more of the opportunities are for hospitality for hotels for wineries cooks the the people that handle the wine what do they call them smalliers or something <laughs> wine tasting and stuff like that uh and then with the with the way the world is opening up now i work mostly remotely so the the company i work for has an office here but 90% of my job i'm supporting the office in brampton which is in ontario which is way farther from where i am so it doesn't even mean that to live here you, can, you must have to work here you could be working for a company in vancouver where you don't have to maybe you're working fully remote you might only have to drive there once in a, once a month once in a week depending so it's also an opportunity for if you're looking for a smaller city uh, where there's not much of the hustle and bustle while you're supporting uh, a company in another city so that's also an opportunity okay yeah and then what of trade jobs because let's not you know 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's not categorize yes. all jobs as yeah. Uh, the so I, I've been meeting a lot of tradespeople because of the friends I've been making here. Uh, where I live, there's very close by. There's, there's the Okanagan College that deals in trades. Uh, so you have people like uh, electricians, plumbers. Because the city is still growing, there's always buildings coming up. And there are there's, houses. There's jobs. For there are jobs. There's renovations going on. We make a joke here that every time we drive by, we see another electrical company. There are a lot of companies, um, small businesses, large businesses. There are condo building, condo buildings that are coming up, so they're always employing people. There's always, especially if you're into construction, um, uh, stuff like that. There's a lot of jobs coming up because the city is trying to grow and expand. So that's also another area if you're into trades, uh, craftsmanship. This is also the place for you. Okay, so guys, um, I think I'll title this video um canadian immigrants in corona bc um, yeah. i think the title is that um, um i know you guys have comments as usual i always entertain your comments if you want to know more i'll put the questions down there um uche will respond i could ask her directly and i'll give you that feedback also please like this video again and if you're not yet subscribed subscribe to the channel um, there's one thing I love from you guys. I love seeing suggestions on new videos you guys want me to make. So um, I'll be looking out for those. Um, I'm still in BC and um, I'll do some more exploring and, you know, give you guys something good. So until next time, you guys stay safe and um, have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye.